ate it with the panties on. Yes, I want it. Sitting on the porch, sun setting low. Tall boy in hand, the conversation slow. Crisp and golden, bubbling with cheer. Nothing beats the joy of a cold, tall beer. Chill it down and let the laughter rise. When the friends are as good as the beer, time just flies. Raise your glass, let's celebrate tonight. Nothing but friends, we got no reason to fight. With the tall boy in hand. My night friends or my drinking buddies We just hanging, goof off, laughing and talking shit about their choices The front flipping, I PA drinking, hipster douches But it could be worse, they could be spider cold stooges This tall boy's brewed perfect, it's large and so smooth A sexy worn cliff blade and colorful carbon fiber Any more excitement, I'd have to wear a rubber your glass, let's celebrate tonight Nothing but friends, we got no reason to fight With the tall boy in hand, kicking back in my chair Hanging out by the fire in the crisp night air ooh, ooh. So here's to the nights we won't forget Am I an alcoholic just because my pants are wet? I don't drink all the time, every morning I quit I spend more on knives than I ever have on beer That's a far bigger problem I won't talk about how much I've spent I'm afraid my wife will hear. Hey guys, Jim here. Welcome back once again. I am so excited to bring out to you this brand new offering from Devo Knives. It's called the Tall Boy. And it's going to be dropping here very, very soon. Live availability September 12th of 2024 at 1 p.m. Eastern at $199. Now, keep in mind, there will be a 10% off discount code that you can use and save a few more dollars. Now, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. If you have not watched my channel before and don't already know this, I am friends with one of the owners of Devo Knives, Kevin, who goes by Lefty EDC here on YouTube and Instagram and everywhere else. Love the guy. He's a fantastic dude. I really, really like him, and I really like the knives that he brings out. Now, him and his partner, Colin, have been a part of the knife community for a long time, and Colin is a design genius. I mean, the guy is super, super good. Between his design skills and Kevin's critical skills, being a knife reviewer himself, knowing what he likes, what he wants out of a knife, and also knowing what the community likes and what they want out of a knife, they put their brains together and they have come out with some awesome knives. Going back a few years to the original, the Devo Stout, still to this day, one of my absolute favorite knives one that I carry and that I cut with a lot. Still love this knife, still think it's fantastic. Another that I really love is the Nip and the newer Nip Light, which is this little baby guy right here. Now, I love my Nip in the carbon fiber, but the Nip Light, because it's purple, I really, really like. Now, I showed you those for a very specific reason. Because, number one, I do truly love Devo knives. And two, because this is purple and it's carbon fiber. <laughs> yeah. All right. First off, your packaging. You're going to receive the best jizz rag on the market. I use these a lot as well. They're really fantastic. Not for that, but for cleaning my knives. You're going to get a tall boy sticker, which is cool. You're going to get another cleaning cloth, this time a, uh, well, they're both microfiber, but this is like a microfiber terry, and this is a microfiber satin or smooth. You're going to receive an additional thumb studs on a couple of the color variants, not all of them, which... Very cool that, that they decided to do that, but for me, personally, I find that unnecessary 
because I love the purple titanium. I think it looks great. Now, see what I meant? Purple infused into the carbon fiber. <laughs> this is the purple flow camo carbon and it looks awesome. You're going to have a number of choices and we'll discuss those here in a moment. But first, let's get to the specs because that's going to be super important for you to know. So we'll do that right out of the gate, shall we? Okay. Your overall length is eight inches. It is the largest knife that Devo Knives has made by a good margin. Let's put it next to the Stout, which up until this was the largest. And you see there is a considerable size difference. But the tall boy is considerably lighter weight being all carbon fiber like this. Your blade length is 3.5 inches and it is a hollow ground Warncliffe. Now the finish on this particular variation is going to be in the belt satin. So you see the vertical satin from the grinding belt and then the horizontal satin on the flats. Blade steel is going to be S90V with cryo heat treat. Very, very important. So in between the cycles of tempering, they are doing a cryogenic tempering, and that is going to greatly reduce the size of the carbides and make everything within the steel a lot more uniform. That means it's a stronger blade. That's fantastic. Now, their claimed Rockwell hardness is going to be between 60 and 62 HRC. And the notes I have from Kev are the fact that when they did their sample testing, they were at 62, which is fantastic. Now, you're going to have a few different materials for the frame, okay? You have the black pearl camo carbon, the purple flow camo carbon, Brittany blue camo carbon. That's going to be an exclusive to bladebinge.com. And there's also going to be all titanium, which is going to be for white mountain knives. That's going to be a stonewash titanium with a stonewash blade and blue titanium accents. Now, if you choose one of these that has the purple accents or the blue accents, you will also receive that additional thumb stud, which is going to be in the standard machine satin titanium with no coloring. Now, if you pick one that has black titanium accents, you will not. You will get all black. At least that's the way I understand it. Now, this is using what they call their exposed liner lock. You're like, but why isn't it a frame lock? Because this frame isn't titanium. The frame is carbon fiber. The whole thing. It is all carbon fiber. Now, if this was not cut away exposing this lock, this would be called an inset or nested it could be a nested liner lock or an inset tab lock. But they have cut away the carbon fiber frame fully exposing the lock. That does make it something different. I can't honestly remember ever seeing anyone else do it before. That doesn't mean it doesn't exist elsewhere. It just means I haven't seen it. That's pretty damn cool. There's not a lot that I haven't seen, to be honest with you. So it's nice to be surprised man. And it locks up solid too. And there is the perfect amount of tension on that lock as well. It's really, really, really well done. Now these are being OEM'd by Kubi. Kubi has been doing fantastic work with Devo, allowing them to offer very inexpensive prices at collector's grade materials and workmanship. Oh, yeah. Now, one of the things I really like on here is the radial pattern that's being done here, milled into the carbon fiber. 
So you've got kind of this shock wave coming out from around the pivot, going all the way down the frame. It adds an additional bit of character and depth to this look, which I really, really like. Man, I love this purple. It's a good looking royal purple done so, so well. Now, what do I think of it at 199 bucks? I think it's a fantastic deal. And this is going to become one of my main EDCs in my EDC rotation. Now, I'm different than a lot of standard users. I don't have an EDC, a true EDC, meaning truly everyday carry. But I'm also not like a standard collector where I change out my knife every single solitary day. I have a small rotation of knives that I go to a lot. That means with this being in that rotation, it's going to carry, going to get carried probably once or twice a week. So it's definitely going to see a lot of pocket time. I love the weight on this. It's 3.1 ounces. And it's not like you're getting a little baby blade. It's three and a half inches. Oh yeah, I like this. I like this so much. Now, if you opt for the titanium version, the full titanium instead of carbon fiber, it's going to jump up to 4.3 ounces. Be aware of that. So if you're ordering from Devo Knives website on drop day, you can get this one. They're calling it Purple Nurple because of course they are, which is the Purple Flow Camo Carbon and the Belt Satin Blade and the Purple Titanium Accents. Or you can get the one they're calling <laughs> the Jack Sparrow. Why? Because it is Black Pearl Camo Carbon. Get it? The Black Pearl? All right. Thanks for playing along. And that's also going to have the belt satin blade just like this one. But that one's going to have black titanium accents. So everything that you see here, the thumb stud, the pivot collars on either side, the backspacer, the pocket clip will all be black titanium instead of purple titanium. And the hardware, which is going to be your pivot hardware, as well as these two backspacer screws, and the reversible pocket clip screw. That's all going to be the same here in the machined satin titanium. If you're buying from traditional pocket knives, you'll get what is still going to be, I think, the number one seller. It's my personal favorite, almost always, the 80s camo carbon. That's also going to get the belt satin blade just like this. And it's going to get satin accents. So you will not receive the secondary thumb stud. Because you don't need it. If you're buying from White Mountain Knives, you can get the all stonewashed full titanium with blue titanium accents. And if you're buying from Blade Binge, you'll get the Brittany Blue Camo Carbon. With a black wash blade. Oh, that's different. And the black titanium accents. Ooh, yeah. So, for the price of $199, this is a flat out friggin' steal. You've got a full sized, or full size compact is the best way to put it. Full size compact EDC that's lightweight, easy to carry, has a fantastic lock, has a beautiful overall design has a super functional blade shape, has a unique looking lock that I have not seen before in anyone else's design. The only thing that's missing is the flipper tab. But you got to keep in mind, Kev isn't really a big flipper guy. He doesn't mind a good flipper, but he wants to be able to flick. He is a flicker. He is a mother flicker. So that's generally going to be what you see on their knives. And just bringing out the couple that I have brought out here to my studio. There you see right there, blade windows. 
and this one adding the thumb stud, which I love that idea. Because there are definitely people that will prefer to use a thumb stud over a blade window. Still think this is the best action out of everything that Devo has done. If you don't have a Stout or the newer Stout Premium that came out, do yourself the favor. Get on the secondary market and find one. You're absolutely going to love it. This is a nicer looking design. Overall, I think it's a more attractive knife. I love the balance of it. I love how lightweight it is. I love the utilitarian nature of the blade. I love the upgrade into S90V. I love the accents. I love the main material color choices. I love the fact that the edges are chamfered in just the right areas. So where I'm holding it, where I'm going to come in contact with it, there's no harsh edges. Everything was done right. Kubi is ridiculous. You should not be able to get this level of knife making at their prices. It's, it just shouldn't happen. You're up there with some of the best production knives on the market. And this is not... $350, $400 like those are. This is $199. It's nutty. It's crazy. And by the way, that is a deep hollow grind. It is super slicey. Really nicely done. Okay, that's enough on that. And I want to thank everyone for joining me as always. I have lots more content to put out this month. Oh my goodness, it's ridiculous. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel and all of my other ones. Yes, I have many multiple channels now. I've gone back and reopened my watch channel. I'm back to doing a lot of watch reviews. I've got my regular EDC channel, which is Knives, knife accessories, flashlights, flashlight accessories, guns, gun accessories. Everything that falls within EDC goes there. And then my main knife channel that's really just knives and lights. So hopefully there'll be something to satisfy everybody. I'm just not going to be unboxing toys and playing video games. So there's that. I can't satisfy everybody but I try as best as I can. See you guys on the next video.